Hello everyone, so we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part. So in this particular video, we are going to see few of the SQL related question which is generally asked in interview. So these are the query question which I have in this particular video which we are going to solve. So if you can see my first question is like write a query to create a new table with the same schema as an employee table. So what actually it is asking, suppose you have an employee table, now you want to create a new table. This is the table one which you want to create. Now what you have to do, whatever the schema which we are using in this table, I want the same schema in this particular table and I have to create only the schema. So that is my first question. Second question is like create a new table same like an employee table data plus schema. What it does it mean? I have to create a new table. So suppose I have this employee table. Now I have to create a new table name as a table 2. So what actually I want? Whatever the employee table schema and the data we have, we want to copy into this particular table. So how actually we can create a new table with the same schema and the same data. So that is my second question. Third question is like write a query where employee name starts with a letter A. This is a simple question like. Now next question is like write a query where department ID starts with same letter and ends with the same letter. How actually you can find out. Suppose I have a department ID 1001. So you can see this is starting with the same letter and it's ending with the same letter, right? So that is what actually we have to find out. How actually we can write a query for that. How to query to get a records in XML formats. So what we have to find out, suppose you have a query and in that query, what actually you have to find out, you have to find out in a XML format. Whatever the result we are getting, that we result we want in a XML format, how actually we can write a query for that. My next question is like how to get a current date, current month and the current year. So this all the things we are going to see. So let's start. So my first question is like write a query to create a new table with the same schema as an employee table. So I have this employee table. Now in this employee table you can see we have a employee ID, employee name, department ID, position and the salary. I want to create a new table name as a table 3. And I want the same schema like a employee table, like I want the same employee ID, employee name, department ID, position and the salary. I want which table I want to create, I want to create a table 3. So if I show you, this is the table 3, this one actually I want to create. And one thing we have to remember, it is saying like only schema, means only schema actually I have to create a same like a employee table. How actually I can write a query for that? So what we have to write, select star into table 3. This is the table we are creating right from employee table like same like employee table we had to create where 1 equal to the 2. If I'll do 1 equal to 2 now if I'll execute this what actually it is going to do it is going to create a new table name as a table 3 same like a employee where 1 equal to 2 means only the schema it will match. Let me execute you can see 0 rows affected now if I'll execute this table 3. You can see same schema like employee ID, employee name, department ID, position, salary. It is it got created same like a employee table. So, so that's how actually we can create a new table with the same schema if we have any reference table. Next query is like create a new table same like employee table data plus schema. I want to create a new table table 4 same like a employee table and in that table data as well as the schema should may match like a employee table. How actually I can write a query for that? Select star into employee table. Select star into table 4. This is the new table I want to create. Table 4 similar to the employee where 1 equal to the 1. If I will execute this, so what will happen? It will create a new table, table 4 similar to the employee where schema as well as the data will match 1 equal to 1 means. Now if I will show you select star from table 4 this is the table we have created right and you can see the schema as well as the data actually got created similar to the employee table. I hope you got the idea. Now my next query is like write a query where employee name starts with a letter A. So you can see we have a employee name column right. I have to find out the employee detail where name start with the A. So it's very simple right. So how actually we can write select star from employee table where employee name like like A percentage. 
A percentage means it should start with the letter A and after that it can contain any letter. So if I'll execute this, you can see this imply name only starts with the letter A. Now my next question is like if I show you my employee table, this is the employee table I have. Write a query where department ID starts with the same letter and ends with the same letter. So you can see in department ID we have a 101. So 101 is starting with the one and ending also with one. Similarly this also 101. So that result actually I want which is starting with the same and also ending with the same. How actually I can write a query for that? Select star from employee where left left department id id 1 equal to the right department id 1 so if i'll do this so it will give me that result where it is starting letter and the ending letter is matching left department id first letter and the right department id first letter ending letter both are matching means 101 one, one is also starting with one and ending also with a one so like that we can uh, calculate that now i had to find out write a query to get record in xml formats so suppose i have this table select star from employee now what actually i want i want to get a result in a xml format so what actually i have to write select star from employee for xml auto if i'll do this if I'll execute this, you can see the the result I'm getting in a XML format. So like that actually we can do that. Now my next query is like how to get current date. So how to get a current date? So if I write select get date. So get date will give me the what is the current date. You can see this is the 17th of November, right? And current date and the timestamp also it is giving. Now the second way is doing is current timestamp current timestamp if you will write current timestamp this also will give me the same result current date and the current timestamp both are matching right so like that we can calculate the current date how to find out current month so what you have to write select month and uh, get date get date and if i'll execute this this will give me the what is the current month so you can see 11th this number right now how actually we can get the current year so what you have to write select year and the get date so if i'll do this this will give me the year what is the current year you can see 2024 so i hope you got the idea yeah that's in this video thanks